While the idea of being an astronaut and floating among the stars remains a dream for many, there is a darker side to space exploration. It can be dangerous and filled with scary moments. Just imagine being all alone in space, surrounded by nothingness, and realizing that you're lost. It's a terrifying situation that can turn the wonders of space into a haunting nightmare. This is the incredible story of an astronaut who actually got lost in space for 311 days straight, battling loneliness and facing unimaginable challenges. Join us as we delve into the mysteries of outer space, time travel and the resilience of the human spirit and discover what it truly means to be lost among the stars. Our journey begins where everything is in chaos. It was in the Soviet Union, specifically in Russia, during a time of great confusion and disorder. Sergei Krikalov was born on August 27, 1958, in the city of Leningrad, known today as St. Petersburg. Even as a young lad, Sergei witnessed the intense competition between the Soviet Union and the USA in the space race, which happened because of the Cold War. Despite these chaotic circumstances, Sergei always dreamed of going to space. He studied mechanical engineering and graduated in 1981. Years later, in 1985, he played a crucial role in fixing a broken space station called Salyut 7. He guided the repairs from Earth and earned his respect. Because of his achievements, Sergei was chosen to be a cosmonaut, which is what Russian astronauts are called. In 1988, he started training for his first long space flight on the Mir space station. The Mir was a big satellite that orbited the Earth. After his successful mission, Sergei couldn't wait to go back to space. But little did he know that his next trip would change his life forever. In December 1990, Sergei was getting ready for his second trip to space. He was part of the crew for the Soyuz TM-12 mission. Sergei's mission was considered routine, but until then he didn't know that in just 311 days he would be among the most historic travelers in space. As they approached Mir, their destination, their spacecraft's targeting system failed. Sergei had to manually dock the rocket, which was a risky task, but he managed to do it safely. The station had a lot of technical issues, like the lights flickering because of electrical problems. This was not only annoying, but also reminded them how much they depended on this faulty technology to stay alive. The station's constant technical problems also made the temperature and humidity go up and down, which made it easy for mold and other tiny living things to grow. It had its own set of problems, but for Sergei it was like a second home. He loved the feeling of floating in zero gravity and flying through the space station. On May 26, 1991, four other cosmonauts completed their missions and returned to Earth, leaving Sergei and Anatoly to continue their mission of maintaining and repairing the station. Sergei had a mission planned to end in October 1991, so he still had five months left on Mir and there was a lot of work to do. The most exciting tasks were the six spacewalks Sergei and Anatoly had planned. They had to do important repairs and upgrades to the space station's external parts. During the final spacewalk, something scary happened. Anatoly's helmet visor got fogged up because the spacesuit's water was running out. Sergei had to guide his commander, who couldn't see, back to safety. Thankfully, they made it. But after that, on Earth things started to take turns in the wrong way. In August, things changed drastically. At that time, the Soviet Union was led by President Mikhail Gorbachev, who faced opposition from communist hardliners because of his reform program called Perestroika. This program aimed to change the political and economic systems of the country. Tensions had been building up in the Soviet Union since the 1980s, and on August 19, 1991, a coup was launched to remove Gorbachev from power. Although the coup only lasted a couple of days before being called off, it had a lasting impact on the USSR. It became clear that the Soviet Union's days were numbered. It was a confusing time, and Sergei worried about his family and friends on the ground as they experienced political unrest. 
Sergei tried to stay informed about the unfolding events in the USSR. He received updates from his wife Elena, who worked in mission control and spoke with radio operators via the communication system on Mir. Sergei was confused and worried about what was happening to the space program and his mission. He didn't know that Mir and he would get caught up in the downfall of the USSR. As some Soviet states became independent, it caused problems. Kazakhstan wanted a lot of money for using the spaceport Sergei launched from. Russia needed a solution because they didn't have enough to pay them at that time. Because of that, they brought in a cosmonaut from Kazakhstan and cancelled Sergei's replacement. Sergei had to stay on Mir for an unknown time. The longer Sergei stayed in space, the more strained Russia's finances became. They struggled to send food and supplies to Mir. He faced uncertainty about his future and concerns about his health due to the risks of long-term spaceflight. Sergei had the option to return to Earth using an emergency Soyuz capsule, but that would mean abandoning Mir and ending the space station's operations. Sergei's dedication to his mission outweighed his desire to return home. He continued working to keep Mir running for almost three more months. However, help arrived in March 1992. This allowed Russia to afford a replacement for Sergei. After a total of 10 months in space, Sergei was finally able to make his way back to Earth on March 25, 1992. As Sergei's spaceship touched down on our home planet, the crowd erupted in wild cheers. He had become the last true Soviet citizen, marking the end of an era in spectacular fashion. Despite the cosmic toll on his mind and body, Sergei's unwavering dedication and commitment to his mission shone brighter than a supernova. And guess what? This was just the beginning of his extraordinary space-faring career. He went on to participate in more out-of-this-world missions, making history in the vast realm of space. Sergei Krikalov's dedication, expertise and remarkable endurance have made him an iconic figure in the field of space exploration. His contributions have paved the way for future astronauts and continue to inspire aspiring space scientists around the world. In the end, we can say Sergei is a really tough guy. Living in space for 311 days is not easy at all. This situation would probably make most humans go crazy. What would you do differently in that situation? Let us know in the comments. Until next time, fellow explorers.